We are on our way to where we go? Uh, Bra Costa Brava. Yeah, Costa Brava, Spain. Uh, we're heading to Stansted Airport. Gonna quickly drive there. I'll show you lot the new wheels. So this is our chariot for the day. You know, sort of roll up in style. The boots open. There we go. Princess. Yeah, this is what we're. Right, so by this time we was panicking a bit because we had to check in and the online check-in wasn't working so we wanted to be there as early as possible and when we got to the car park there weren't really any instructions we just had to find a parking space and look for a bus to take us to the terminal. And there goes our bus. Just a bit more faffing about, get the bags out of the boot, and then we're good to go. Gotta change up that molar. And then, yeah, we looked for somewhere to eat, sit down. I think we had about an hour and a half's wait before boarding. Grab a couple pints, you know, play some blackjack, take some selfies, you know. And yeah, playing was there. So I was passenger 1A. So I was literally right at the front of the plane. Because we checked in late, she was at the back. So we yeah, had hella leg room and the Jack Daniels for one. Yeah, so we touched down. The flight was about two hours, uh, I think two, two hours, five minutes. And then, yep, I was eager, first off of the plane. So we caught the coach. The coach ride was about maybe just over an hour because they had to drop off other passengers. And I think ours was the last hotel on the journey. So yeah, we was a bit tired and hungry at that point. And this is her trying to get us arrested. So we arrived at the hotel. It was 11 p.m. or maybe just before. And it was nice. It was a four star hotel called the H Top Royal Sun. And it was directly on the beach, uh, Santa Susana. Uh, the hallway looked like something out of Shining. Yeah, if you know, you know. The room was kind of dated, but that's like most of the hotels in, in Spain. But it was nice, it was clean. And yeah, we headed downstairs to the hotel next door because they seemed to have the best entertainment. And there was like a wedding celebration going on. Yeah, as you can see, it was double lively. Yeah, you see, you see the trio over there, they were going in. Yeah, I don't know whose wedding it was, but yeah, the, it was a nice crowd, man. And the, the two singers on stage were very, very professional. The guy was like a Freddie Mercury impersonator or something, but he was killing it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, Abra, go to sleep, eh? 
So, this is our first morning in Costa Brava. Uh, the weather went great, probably about 20 degrees, a little bit windy, that's what it's famous for there. And yep, this is me waiting for her to get ready, what I do most mornings. And yeah, we went down to get some breakfast. Hello. That's me practicing my Spanish with the elevator. And yeah, we were so hungry, didn't even record yeah. breakfast. So we just ate some food, headed to the beach. Mm -hmm. That's me struggling to get up the sand. Yeah, it's kind of windy uh, that first morning, as you can see. So windy there, people go there to winter. view of the mountains so we went down to the shop to get our starter pack you know the essentials to get the party started it was off season so there wasn't too many people there but that's how we prefer it and there was parts that had a bit of construction work going on Outside and it was AMG, time for a quick selfie right outside, with a little extra floor. Turn, baby girl, you know me. So at this point, we realized we was actually sitting on an ant colony, and they were working together to carry food out of the bin, like some some real David Amber type stuff. Yep, more photo shoots. So the food was quite good. They had like different themes on different days. Uh, like I said, it was a four star, so I can't really complain about the food. And that's her being very helpful as usual. Yep, more food. So I think this was Mexican day, I think. So they had like 
paella, which they had kind of every day. They had some kind of fish. You know, we had to stop for the chicken. They had nachos, guacamole, and yeah, I think this was my favorite day. She's pretending it's not freezing. We headed back to that hotel for the entertainment. Uh, they had like banging fresh pizzas. I think this was a seafood pizza. Banging. But yeah, the entertainment weren't popping as much as it was the night before, as you can see. So yeah, we headed back to the room. Uh, I had to set up our own entertainment. And uh, yeah, we had a little little party. And then by then I was knackered. So yeah, I, I called it a night. So this day I'm excited because I get the bike. So we went around the corner and rented a moped. I think it was a 125cc. And I think it was about 100, 100 euros for two days. We rented that out so we can kind of get about. And plus we needed to get to a town next door called Blaine's because we was uh, renting a boat the next day. So yeah, this day we just kind of explored a bit further out and had some fun on the bike. As you should know by now, my riding skills are top notch. Paella's banging, this is banging. Mm. Where you going, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Delivery, delivery. You got my, you got my nuggets. <laughs> Is it? And then turn around. Nearly getting us Imagine arrested again. So it was probably about 12 o'clock at night. Um, we decided to take a ride down the coast along the beach. And yeah, it was, parts of it was like pitch black and there was potholes. It, yeah, it was a rough ride.
You could tell someone was scared. So we came across this little village. It was like little apartments next to our hotel. But it looked like Hawaii, like everything was made out of wood, had all these like palm trees and lights. It was nice. So by this time we started to head back and we decided to ride the bike on the beach in the sand ended up falling over but yeah luckily we didn't record that bit but there were no scratches on the bike so it was good took a few more pics headed back to the restaurant you know had a few more drinks chilled out for a bit and again the entertainment tonight was you know not as not as turned up as it was on the first night And today we are going to rent a boat uh, we're gonna rent a little boat for four hours I think it was 160 euros so yeah I'm excited if you know me I like boats I like the ocean so yeah we got ready headed off to I think it's called Blaine's Blanes the town next door and yeah this guy had quite a few boats check him out Yeah, he was a very nice man. He was very patient with us. I think we delayed him for about 30 minutes. But yeah, he was very cool. Walked us down to the boat. Uh, ran us through the instructions. Took about 10 minutes. It was quite simple. Forward, backs, you know, how to do the, the anchor. And where we can go, where we can't go. Gave us a little map. And yeah, it was a good deal. I'm backing it up like it's my Mercedes. So, like I said, we had four hours. We could basically do what we want, but he gave us a map that had a few red skulls on it. So, there were certain places we couldn't really go because it might have been too rocky. There are certain places we couldn't drop the anchor. 
and um, other than that we could sail from that town to like a couple towns over you know we could basically you know post up eat some food have a drink and do what we like before we have to get back I was surprised at how deep it was. It was like the anchor was dropping for forever. But yeah, he taught me how to kind of tie it up. I've done it a few times before. You know, I'm not professional, but you know, I'm quite, quite experienced. And yeah, we saw a jellyfish at this point. So, and it was like red, so it didn't, it didn't look like the non-venomous ones. Look, it's holding onto the thing. It is, it was. That's nuts. I think it's dead, you know. It wasn't. Yeah. We was basically surrounded by them. Oh One more. Oh my god. We're in the middle of it. Imagine we jumped in, you know. Yeah, by this point, I was getting kind of seasick. So she happily took over and yeah, I just laid down for a bit. It's kind of scary when the big boats are coming towards you and you don't know if they can see you. Because before he changed direction, he was coming directly to us. So yeah, we did get a bit scared. So our time was running out, so we started to head back. The water was getting a bit more choppy. The weather was getting a bit more windy. So yeah, we had to drive it back into the harbor to meet the guy. can't lie by this point i was happy to be back on dry land yeah the waves like when you when you stationary the waves was a lot to handle but yeah this was like a little fishing town so i think that's where they was processing fish uh there was a bunch of fishermen kind of working and stuff so yeah the whole place smelled fish and yeah it was a it was a nice little town so we got back on our bike and then headed to the nearest beach. It was a very, very nice beach. I think it was Blanes Beach or something. 
So we parked up the bike and headed down to the beach. We had some food left over with us, so we had something to eat. And it was such a nice beach, we nearly fell asleep. So yeah, we both got a quick massage and then we headed back to the hotel to eat. And yeah, today they was cooking rabbit. So after dinner, we had to go and return the bike and then we got this little car thing. Got rid of the old joint, just the new joint. I'm saying four wheel drive. Eight horsepower and a convertible roof, double power steering. You get me? Yeah, alloys. What's that? 20, 20 inch. Yes, sir. Got the LEDs. Yeah. Got the ABS. All of that. And look at me now, man. After nearly getting into a collision, we took it to the high street to go get some groceries. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Did it hit your foot? Yeah. Your toe? Oh, yeah, my foot, Joey. Sorry, baby, I'll kiss it then. Thank you, man. I Suspension. <laughs> Took a nice ride along the beach, you know, get the views in and all that. Took a lot of leg work to get there though. But yeah, by this time our legs was killing us. So yeah, we started heading back. We had to drop the car bike thingy off. I think it cost about $10 for an hour, something like that. So yeah, we went back to our local spot, which was never popping like it was on the first night. So we hit one of the local clubs. So that was our final night in Costa Brava. We had to catch a flight at 6 a.m., I think it was. No, 10 a.m., we had to be there for 6 a.m., something like that. So yeah, if you like these vlogs, I'm gonna be doing a lot more travel vlogs. So like, subscribe, share, all of that type of stuff. Peace.